from the place I started and still far to go. I know I can make it. You go your way, I go mine. And, and that I was able to accomplish this dream, and, and even though it was the rainiest hiking season ever, or and that. It just that I was able to face all those those challenges, uh, and that I that I did it. That I I don't I don't know what that's going to be like. I don't know. Just that overwhelming sense of pride, versus the idea that you know I've been living a dream, an absolute my dream, my life dream for the last six or seven months, and being up there and seeing that sign means it's time to wake up. I don't know. That's that's going to be hard to face. We're at the uh, summit of Springer Mountain, the southern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. Now we got about 2,173 miles left to go this morning, <laughs> maybe for the next six months. I'm the caretaker of the Springer Mountain area. I'm Gizmo with the Georgia Appalachian Trail Club, and I'm here to help out anyone who can take a few minutes to listen to what I'm going to tell them. And that has to do with Leave No Trace and trying to lower the impact on these initial miles of the Appalachian Trail. About 2,000 potential through hikers a year come here, and that impact can be huge. Pack everything out, keep your fires small, be considerate of other people. That's a big one on the AT. I just hiked about two miles through lightning storms, which I don't really like, but I didn't have much of a choice this morning. Hopefully I can make it at least a uh, nail's gap today to replace my tent poles, which uh, unfortunately were the wrong ones when I parked them. Lightning storms are bad today. First cold, rainy day we've had in the first four or five days, so I'm gonna keep moving on. They're mountain crossings, man. We are, they, we are the only place on the trail where the trail actually passes through a man-made structure. We're 32 miles from Springer. We. Uh, service about 1,500 to 2,000 through hikers each year through here. We ship back about 8,000 pounds a year each year. We've, uh, this is our 20th year on the trail and, uh, and it's probably one of the most interesting places to see the most interesting people on the trail. I'm Bonzo on my second through hike of the AT. I uh, did the first time in 97. I'm here with uh, my Blue Heeler pup, Rio. Uh, drew a map of the uh, AT in first grade. I drew it and had it done. This is it. Dream on, dream on as I may. I get a little closer every day to what I think it should be. Drive a little bit further, a little further down That's the one road. down, 13 to go. The Georgia-North Carolina line, it's just good to be through Georgia now, so. Adios, Georgia. Further away from what I think it should be. I drive a little bit further, further. Where I stopped along the road Another mile or two I'll be back in good graces Christine, you were that golden ballet bit of oh. Another mile or two I know it won't be long now Till I get there Lord, can you get me Another mile or two Dream on, dream on as I may Get a little closer every day To what I think it should be It's been uh, pretty awesome, I don't know I've, It's great I don't know, carry my backpack And I gave my little backpack a nickname too Her name's Butter I love slinging her up on, on throwing her up on my back And just going, you know It's been crazy the last couple days Did a couple 16 mile days, 17 yesterday I mean, it's been hard But, you know, nothing that I can't do every day, you know Right on I'd rather just get up and do that than go to work 
They don't hurt at all. In the time of my life. Hi, I'm Laura. Um, originally from New Jersey. Just came out here from California to hike the AT. We're at Fontana Dam. There's a great laundromat and a general store here. All all in one place you can easily get from one to the other. The weather was a little rough. I started out on March 28th from the approach trail and um, we had a couple of nights of below freezing and snowy weather and it's starting to pick up. Yesterday I think was the most beautiful day so far hiking down the Fontana Dam. Lovely magical forest we came through. Very, very picturesque and uh, they smell lovely. Not, not, uh, not to say that uh, it could mask my odor but it was good. Oh, how to love and be loved. We hear you despite our ruckus. Welcome to the Smokers Lion King. I've seen you through here before. Uh, as you know, the, the park is quite large, 500,000 acres, and there's 72 miles of the AT in the, in the Smokies. We have uh, shelters throughout the park, and uh, uh, through hikers are allowed to tent camp if the shelters are full. We took quite a few this weekend in the park. There's uh, an estimated 1,800 bears in the park. We, they have not been a problem. I get a little shuck stack at the uh, entrance to the Great Smoky Mountains. It's funny, it's called Little Shuck Stack because it's just a big old bitch. We cannot rise to freedom with your bloody sword. We're on the way up. It's Easter Sunday uh, at Molly's Ridge Shelter, one of the first shelters in the Smoky Mountains. And as you can tell, you have the bear cages up to keep the bears out and keep the people in. It's got like a box lunch, I guess, for the bears. It's a beautiful day. Cold, but beautiful. Uh, clouds seem to be clearing up a little bit. Oh my god, check this out. Planet Earth strives for her say. While her people congregate to try to control her fate. We are the fools that think planet Earth is on the brink just because we can't stand the very stink that we I tell you, there are days when you go 15 miles and it's all uphill and the last like five of the day, you, you just go straight up, straight up, straight up. You come within 10 feet on top of a mountain, yet you don't go to the top. You turn out and come down this steep, steep thing. celebrate after a really big thunderstorm this morning and walking through icy cold rain on the way to clean the storm. A nice shot of whiskey from a couple of nice folks we met. Hey, I'll and take a, a shot with you. Woohoo! Alright. Cheers. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're dead homeless. Ow! <laughs> Icy and windy. Uh, it's the highest point in the Smoky Mountains. I'm not gonna stay up here long because it's damn cold. There's no view today. The ice, ice and wind is, is way too thick. Um, heading into Gatlinburg. Watch this stink off me. Day in the Smokies, I'm about four miles from Davenport Gap. Uh, I'd hope the weather cleared up a little bit, but it's still really nasty looking out. Uh, clouds are still dark, hasn't been a whole lot of sunshine at all this whole trip through the Smokies. Moving on out, uh, hope you get a few more miles in before the thunderstorms kick in. Hot Springs, North Carolina. Originally, this was a uh, prison of war camp for Germans, and uh, the Germans liked it so much when the war was over, they decided to stay here. It's a nice little town, it's just a short stop on the way.
take my mind off of my mind Watch me build a house of cards around you This is the crazy part here, trying to hitchhike. It's hard to get a ride sometimes. My trail name is Fubar. Uh, quite fitting. Uh, I started March the 12th. I hiked into Irwin, uh, met my lovely fiance here. Here, uh, we went to Trail Fest and we've been in several cents. Woo! Nothing. Oh, we uh, we're docking Llama. <laughs> yeah. We uh, through hiked the AT in 98. That's where we met. We... I chased yep. her for five, oh, yeah. six months. And he wanted to get my tent and I said no every oh, night. No, more like five months. I let him get, yeah, I let him get my vestibule one, one day. And then... For my birthday. Here comes one right here. Another probably nothing. I'm pretty sure nothing. Hi, my name is Nomad, 98. This is my wife Jojo. We met out here on the trail in 2000 at Coots Gap. Chased her around a while and we finally got married this last year in May. And thank you so much. When I see the stars at night, I get lonely. Cause someone put them there for me and you. Do you get lonely too? Just another rainy day. Just another rainy day. Black and white have gone forever. Broken record. But if you're out here long enough, man, just listening, watching, sometimes sitting on a mountain and appreciating the beauty that's out here and all the wonderful kinds of people you meet out here on a daily basis that are just you know complete strangers that are the best kind of people in the world, you know, then it changes you and it, it, and it fixes you. It does, it's the best medicine you can have. See you again. Been a long time. I think the last time I saw you, you about this big, and you had little curly hair, and you were just so cute. I just want to give you a little squeeze. It's May 5th. It's a cold, wet, so you go to my own rolling mountain this morning. 100% uh, chance of rain, so I don't know how fun the humps are going to be today. My name is Chuck Porter from Blacksburg, Virginia. My trail name is Viking. Um, it's a beautiful day up here. It's not going to be very soon, but we're making the most of it while we can. And uh, I'm enjoying it because it's the first bald I've ever been on where it was actually sunny. The other day we are going up on the mountain and the freaking wind blowing, wind blowing, hail coming and hit me in the face. And, and we came down here and the two birds, she's doing fine. Starting a fire, fire talking, so that's what human beings separates us from the animals. We can make fire. Setting out on this journey, I packed of my regrets. Now I sit here in this shelter Seems I don't have many left and So I'm riding you I'm at uh, Thomas Knob shelter. Earlier today it was 40 degrees with 50 mile an hour winds. This is really cold for the middle of May. Uh, having a good day though. So I walked away I would gladly walk from Georgia all the way to me I would cross the creeks and the mountain peaks whispering your name and if you asked me I would do this I would go and not complain but this walks for me to find my peace in the Appalachian Bay you can meet me on that clear September day But if you're not there where the trail ends 
I'll still be okay. Back in Damascus for the second time around. Gotta go out and do 70 miles, come back for another week. And then well, maybe we'll move on to Paris. <laughs> maybe. It might be trail days. It might just be trail days. I got a restless heart. I got a weary soul. You know my blues has taken its toll. Got to travel on. Got to keep on moving. Try to leave all my troubles behind. Welcome to Billville. We have a contest going on. It's called the Billville's Astastic Contest. Right on the paper. Whose ass you think it might be? What that what that ass would say if it could talk? And what this ass's own trail name should be? Yes, uh, for this expose, all I can say is that the answer to uh, our life is to buy it wholesale and sell it retail. And that's it. Someday, till that day, I keep on moving, trying to leave all my troubles behind. Trying to leave all my troubles behind. Trying to leave all my troubles behind. Didn't have a trail days. Only did it like a five mile day. It's raining again as soon as we hit the trail. We're building a moldering privy here at the uh, Knott Mall shelter. Um, this is the easy part, the assembly, the hard part was hauling about a, literally about a ton of material two miles up from the road. This nice pair of paddlers, Dave and uh, Myra. They're gonna take me up to a hospital, get my foot X-rayed. I've dealt with this thing for a couple of weeks now, and it's just pain's excruciating. Right outside of uh, Dragon's Tooth in Fort Catawba, Doc said I'll be. I need to take off for a while. He didn't know how I was even hiking. Uh, he looked at the X-rays, and there's like a roller coaster bone fragment. I'm gonna sit here for a couple of days and try to keep going. Uh, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop. I'm a little bit worried. I might hurt myself. I gotta see how the ramp looks. My bike doesn't have any brakes, so I hope the downhill is not too steep. <laughs> <laughs> After taking one day off, went all the way up to Delville from Catawba to get my uh, medication for my leg. And the doctor told me to take a week off, but I can't do it. A uh, couple of bone spurs, little ridges on my bone, but it's all good. I'll keep hiking. And now I'm tired of waking alone in the night. Thinking nothing is wrong, but nothing is right. I want you to be here to kiss those sweet tears from my eyes.
Back into the Shenandoah Mountains after about a week off in Waynesboro. Got my camera back, new backpack, ready to go. Without a smile on me. Shannon.